So hello and welcome back once again to the channel and I uh, have this impression that uh, it's going to be a busy week with these uh, latest fly updates. The uh, 1.5.0 has been released uh, earlier this morning for Android and that's what we're going to test. I'm going to uh, have a look in the menus and show you if there's anything that's different as opposed to the iOS version and then I'm going to take it out and do a quick flight test with both Android and with iOS. So stick around and let's have a look in the menus. So here we go, 1.5.0. Let's have a quick check in the profiles, settings, make sure that we're on the, the latest version. 1.5.0, 18.55 official, okay. So let's go back and have a quick look through the app and see if anything's changed. Look on the menu buttons. Safety, okay, let's have a quick, uh, Quick look through here advanced safety settings um, everything looks to be the same control we did have a an issue with the led as i'm sure some of you are aware of that we seem to have the same menus and i can confirm i've got the mini two in front of me i can confirm that it does change put it on solid yep Everything seems to be exactly the same. Changing colours. I can confirm that. Okay. Let's have a look further down. What else was sticking out before? Ah. Advanced gimbal settings. That was one of them. Okay. So the problem with the your rotation and your smoothness. And this wasn't resetting. So let's just double check this. We'll just move these about. And we'll move the top ones as well, the speed and the pitch smoothness. And click the reset. And as you can see, that the yaw speed and the yaw smoothness hasn't reset. So that is still an issue. Okay. So that's the advanced gimbal settings. And the other issue was... Oh, on the iOS version... The button customization for the function buttons there was a few more extra settings but as you can see in android they're exactly the same for tap and double tap now i don't know whether having the mavic 3 that that, that they'll become enabled i don't know but as it stands at the moment you've still got the same settings other than that i can't see anything in the app that is showing any difference whatsoever just check the about yeah 1.5.0 so there we go let's go out and test it and we'll test it with ios as well so here we go then 1.5.0 on android let's get him in the air the home point has been updated please check it on the map i'm just gonna fly around for a moment 30 meters is plenty from I just had to dodge a few birds just then. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Let's just check the um, the controls whilst it's in the air. doesn't make any difference whatsoever. I didn't think it would do. Uh, advanced gimbal settings. Let's see if they reset. 
which I'm sure they won't. No. Okay. Let's bring him down. Landing. So there we go, 1.5.0 on iOS. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Get it in here. Yep. Okay. time to get uh, a low battery warning however a quick uh, look at the advanced gimbal settings just to check whilst it was in flight to see if these your speed and your smoothness would reset and as you can see it didn't also the uh, tap and double tap you can see that we do have the increase EV and decrease EV so it looks like for Android, you don't get them. So there we go. Um, a little bit different from uh, iOS to Android. As you can see in that menu system for the function buttons. Unless, like I say, it only appears with the Mavic 3. I don't think that's the case personally. Because it does show, uh, if you check the iOS version, it does show all those uh, extra features the uh, EV uh, increase and decrease. If you've not seen that video for iOS, um, I shall leave a card somewhere up there and you can check that out. But as far as flights go, well, it looks all right to me. Um, what can I say? Proofs in the testing, really. So you've got something useful out of that and you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it the thumbs up. If you haven't, give it the thumbs up twice because that always helps. And don't forget, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.